Welcome to today's edition of the Statler Financial Radio Show. Your financial security is our business. Have a question for the team? Call today, 863-877-1188. That's 863-877-1188. Thanks for joining us today on the Statler Financial Radio Show. I'm your host, Danielle J. Martin, along with Philip Statler. He's the president and founder of Statler Financial Services. We've got a great show for you lined up today, talking about how to maximize your retirement income. Now, you've spent an entire career saving for retirement, but the last thing you need at this stage of the game is to make a misstep. So you end up spending down your savings too quickly. So how can you make sure that you've done enough? Well, today we're going to share with you some simple ways to help you maximize your retirement income. Philip, I'm sure that you know that you can help make the most out of your retirement by taking the these strategic but simple steps. So where do we start? You know, Danielle, it's important to recognize that your financial focus needs to change when you get to retirement. And I got to tell you, that's probably one of the biggest missteps I see day in and day out is the fact that your financial focus has to change when you get ready to hit retirement. And, uh, and that's a big misstep. So you focused all this time for decades, right? All the time you've been working, you've been focused on, on building that nest egg, putting that money to work. And so here's what has to change. We have to shift from, from building up that asset, which you still want to build. We still want to grow it. But it's more important now when we get to retirement that we shift to preserving what we have and optimizing those portfolios. And, you know, look, what you've saved uh, to make sure that that when you know your income comes, when you know, after starting an income out of there, that is going to last as long as you need it to. And the steps we'll go over today could, could very well make the difference between you hoping that your money will last or living your best case scenario. I mean, it's that important, Danielle, that we get this step right. That's right, Philip. And I like how you said from hoping to really knowing. And so I want to share this stat with you that says projections from the Employee Benefit Research Institute shows that 40 percent of households where the head of the household is between 35 and 64, they're projected to run short of money. So how concerned should pre-retirees be about running out of money? How can we get ahead of this? Well, Danny, I think that probably, from what I see anyway, that's probably retirees' biggest concerns is, one, do they have enough so that they don't run out of money? And so it's very important that they make sure that that, that they're on target. And that's why I believe that once you hit around 50, you really need to be looking at and sitting down with somebody that can help you really project out what that process looks like for you. At 55, you definitely need to be sitting down with somebody to make sure that you're on track to to have that retirement you always dreamed of because, again, a misstep there can be brutal down the road. Philip, I love to break it down even more. What are some factors that can cause you to spend down your savings faster than you anticipated? Well, there's several factors, Danielle, and let's look at them kind of, and I say they come in kind of two different flavors, right? You've got some that you have no control over, and then you have some that you do have some control over. And so the first one is lifespan. We don't know how long we're going to live. Nobody does. I mean, we're not promised tomorrow, right? And so, um, but that's a big factor because we don't want to outlive our money. And if we live longer than we anticipated or longer than we built the plan to do, then, well, we, we could run short. Uh, of money. And so that's just never a good thing. The second one is our health. And again, we don't have, we, I would say we have some control over our health, right? We can do some things to to make sure that we're trying to live as healthy of a lifestyle as we can. But there are certain things when it comes to health that, that we have no control over. They're genetic, you know, they're based on our DNA and folks, there's not much we can do about those things. Um, but you should do the things you can to stay healthy that be in better shape and, and that and from that standpoint. The third one, again, we don't control this either. Inflation. 
we have no control over what inflation is going to be once at any time. But when we retire is when it really starts to play a big role. And so I, I think that we have to take inflation into consideration. You know, up until, you know, COVID and, and these last few years, we've, we've basically had very low inflation. But now it's, it's raised its ugly head and, and it's been pretty ugly the last couple of years. And they still haven't been able to get that under control. So inflation is one we, we don't have any control over. Now, the next one, uh, we do have some control over. Well, we don't have control over the market itself, but we, we do have some control on how we deal with it. And so that's stock market unpredictability. People don't want to deal with that. And so, so many people I sit down with, Danielle, are, are sitting there in retirement with all of their money in a market of some type, whether that's a stock market, a bond market, it doesn't really matter. They, they've got something there that's going to be up and down. And that can be devastating when you have to start taking money out of your retirement plan uh, to, to create the income that you're going to need in retirement. And the last one people do have control over, and it can be big, and that's spending. We have to have the ability to put together an accurate, relatively good budget so that we can predict how much income we're going to need to put together that plan. And if we overspend, which is probably one of the biggest issues I've seen, it can devastate an income plan. Folks, all these things that we're talking about, these factors that can chip away at your savings faster than you anticipated, we address those and more in our core retirement design. I created it to make sure that people didn't have to deal with the stock market unpredictability. They had spending under control. And we even look at one called taxes that we deal with in our core retirement design. Hey, if you don't have a plan, which 70% of the folks out there don't have a written retirement income plan, give me a call today, 863-877-1188 to schedule your core retirement analysis. It's a 30-minute phone call where we'll discuss where you are where you need to be and make sure you're on the path to get there. Again, that number is 863-877-1188. As Philip mentioned, you do not have to plan for retirement alone. Don't hesitate to give us a call right here at 863-877-1188. Again, that number is 863-877-1188. Philip, I appreciate you listing out all of the several factors that could possibly chip away at our savings. And just to recap, you talked about lifespan, health, inflation, stock market, unpredictability, and spending. And so I want to talk through some of these strategies here to make sure people have some some actionable steps. What's a possible strategy to help us make sure that we won't spin down our retirement savings too quickly? Because that can go away pretty fast. It can. You know, a misstep can be costly. And so one thing to consider is what we call a bucket strategy for your retirement savings. So rather than seeing your retirement account all as one lump sum, which is dangerous, look at a bucket strategy. So you divide your funds into different buckets of money. The first bucket might be what you'd use for your first, oh, five years maybe of retirement. Now, this money may be in cash or cash equivalents, uh, so it's easily available and and you can get to it quickly and it can create that cash flow that you need that first three to five years. The second bucket might consist of funds in slightly more riskier assets that you could use somewhere around year six to ten, maybe even five to ten, somewhere in there. Um, depending on how you build the strategy. And then the third bucket could be our, our down the road money, right? It'd be, hey, we'll, we'll start dipping from that money in year 11. And that's going to last us the rest of our lifetime. So during that first oh, 11 years or so, we can take a little bit more risk with that bucket of money and, and hopefully get a better return to help drive down inflation issues that we might have when it comes to our income planning process. And Philip, when might be, really quick as before we head into break, when might be a good time to get a second opinion on the strategies that we're using for retirement income? How do we make sure that all of the information that we're receiving is accurate? Well, I think a couple of times. One is, is five years or so out before you get ready to retire, you should have a second set of eyes look over your planning process to make sure that you've covered all your bases 
and and make sure you're on the path to the retirement you always dreamed of. The second time I'd look at it is if you've already retired and you're going down that path and you're taking money out, uh, you know, you may have a plan in place, but it always helps to have a second set of eyes, take a look at it to make sure that what you've put together is going to work and is going to last as long as your lifetime lasts, because that's the big part that we want to make sure we've got covered. Because if we don't, if we outlive our money, folks, that is one of the worst scenarios that we can possibly have in our retirement planning. You're right. It's the number one fear that we have running out of money. And so in case you have any questions about retirement, do not hesitate to contact Philip and his team at 863-877-1188. Again, that number is 863-877-1188. We're talking about ways to maximize your retirement income. So how many times in your life could you make a million dollar decision? Well, for some of you, when you start taking your social security benefits could be one of those million dollar decisions. So we want to make sure it gets paid correctly. So the Statler Financial Radio Show continues right after this. We'll be right back. Needing a second opinion on your retirement plan or to see if you were paying more than your fair share to Uncle Sam? Schedule your complimentary visit today. Text visit to 270-201-7080. That's visit to 270-201-7080. Do you actually read your financial statements or do they get tossed in a drawer and forgotten about? You could be making an expensive mistake by not taking the time to look at them. If you're paying high fees in your retirement portfolio, it could be costing you tens of thousands of dollars or more over your lifetime. Imagine the difference an extra $100,000 could make in your retirement. Statler Financial Services can help you uncover any hidden fees in your retirement accounts. Call today to schedule a time to talk about your situation. 863-285-3815. That's 863-285-3815. When you're close to retirement, every dollar matters. Would you like to know where your money is going? Find out what kind of fees you're really paying. Statler Financial Services can help. 863-285-3815. 863-285-3815. Advisory services offered through Statler Financial Services, Inc., a registered investment advisory firm in the state of Florida. Time to retire right. This is the Statler Financial Radio Show. Welcome back to the Statler Financial Radio Show. I'm your host, Danielle J. Martin, along with Philip Statler. He's the president and founder of Statler Financial Services. We're talking today about ways to maximize your retirement income. And Philip, I wanted to share that according to the Social Security Administration, a retirement benefit of $1,000 is reduced by 25% to $750 for taking your benefit 48 months ahead of your 67th birthday or the day that you reach your FRA. Now, if you wait even longer until you're 70, that benefit continues to increase up to 8% to your benefits for every year that you decide to delay. So many of us are mismanaging this benefit. And yet for some of you, when to start taking your Social Security could be a million dollar decision. Philip, what do we need to know about this? So, so first, let's kind of acronym wise, let's make sure people understand the acronyms. FRA, that stands for your full retirement age. And for anybody born 1960 and beyond, your full retirement age is going to be 67. Anybody before that, it's 66 in so many months at this point, up until age six, uh, until 1960. So, so kind of lay that out there for you so you understand kind of how things work. So let me just walk you through some of the math. The average Social Security benefit, Danielle, is about $1,900 a month. So if you do the math, that's up to around $600,000 over a 30-year retirement. And if you're married and you double that number, well, that's more than a million dollars in Social Security benefits. So look, if you get that wrong, that is not good because there's no going back and fixing it far as we, we know and because all the fixes have kind of been taken out of the system. 
Philip, you're right. It clearly sounds like it's a big deal to make sure that you're taking your social security at the appropriate time. So it might seem like the Social Security Administration is the natural place to start, but can the workers there be make any recommendations? They really are, they're not allowed to. They they cannot help you decide when you should take your social security. All they can do is give you the facts. Here's what it's going to be if you take it at 62. Here's what it's going to be if you take it at 65, 67. Here's what it'll be at 70. And that's just an estimate, right? Until you actually get to that date, they don't have all the information in order to make even that a clear decision, right? So that's why I think, uh, Danielle, it's really important that, that folks have a plan in place as to what they're going to look at when it comes to their Social Security and I think so many people get that wrong, unfortunately. So breaking this down even more, what are some factors to consider before you start taking your Social Security? Well, here's what I look at. The first question I'll ask is, how's your health? Because health is a big deal. Because if we're going to live a long time, we sure don't want to start taking it at 62 and live to 95. And so we want to know, how's your health? How's your longevity in your family? How long did your dad live, your mom live, your grandparents live? Those are important as we look to decide when to start taking Social Security. And the other thing I would consider is, you know, I mean, sometimes it's, it's people come down to the point they just hate their job and they, they're ready to go at 62. And, and I get it. But if there's other areas that you could draw money from, it would pay you to wait a lot of times to start drawing your Social Security. Because like you said, the, the haircut that you take, the discount you take because you take that Social Security benefit early is drastic. And it adds up hugely over time. Now, I will tell you, this is something we talk about all the time in our industry, even is when should you take Social Security? And, and nobody's got the correct answer because it comes down to you based on your circumstances. When's the best time for you to take Social Security? And that's what we build into our whole planning process. And it's one of the reasons, Danielle, that I created the core retirement design to help people design that retirement they always dreamed of. We look at three main areas when it comes to retirement. One, risk. How much risk do you have in your portfolio? How much risk should you have in your portfolio? Those are two very different things. Second, taxes. How can we minimize your taxes in retirement? What key things can we do before you hit that required minimum distribution age that can reduce your tax liability going forward? And third, and probably second most important, is income. Where's your income going to come from? Do you have an income plan? We will put together an income plan for you in our core retirement design to make sure that you don't outlive the money that you have in retirement. And it just takes a 30-minute phone call to get started. Give me a call at 863-877-1188. That's 863-877-1188. Philip, I love how you and your team have been at this for many years. And as you mentioned, those three key areas, risk, taxes, and income. And today we're talking about ways to maximize your income. But even though we're talking specifically about Social Security, there's a lot of things to consider. And so I want to go into the common mistakes that people make when it comes to taking Social Security. What are some of those common mistakes that we tend to overlook? Well, I think people overlook the fact that by taking it early, they forget what they're giving up because they look at now. They look at today, I'm going to get X dollars. Um, and some people, it may be a necessity that they do that. And, and I understand that. But for those that can delay, they need truly to walk through the process and determine when does it make the most sense for you to take your Social Security. The other thing I think that people do not, do not realize, and they don't take into consideration, is how your Social Security it could be there for your spouse. So typically, Danielle, we see, right, that the husband is, has been the higher wage earner. I know that's not always correct. And sometimes a wife is a higher wage earner, which then this would apply to her, right? And so, right. and as men, we typically will be the first one to pass away, I know, statistically anyway. 
And so I look at it also as a death benefit, right? Because the remaining spouse is going to get the higher of the two Social Security benefits. And so we want to maximize that because we already know that expenses don't get cut in half when, when one spouse passes away. And so we want to do the best we can to provide for that spouse and get them the biggest benefit we can at our death. And so that's another area that we look at when it comes to Social Security strategies and, and picking the best time to take their Social Security. And Philip, I know many retirees have questions about this. And so I'm curious, how does a Social Security strategy fit into your overall retirement income strategy? Well, you know, way back when, um, Social Security used to be a part of a three-legged stool, right? You had Social Security, you had a pension, and then you had what you had saved, you were responsible for. Well, that's kind of changed because uh, a lot less people get pensions today. So it's become a two-legged stool, which is a little hard to balance. Um, and so it comes down to the fact that Social Security makes up a bigger part of that planning process. You know, going forward, we need to make sure that it fits properly in your whole planning process because the rest of it is going to be on you to make up that difference. Typically, they say the Social Security will make up about 40% of your retirement income. And so that means that 60% of it's got to come from you some way, some form, some fashion. And so that's where income planning becomes even more important. That, that we plan and make the right decision when it comes to our Social Security planning, Danielle. That's right. And and if people do have questions about this, because it can get complicated, Philip, what's the best way and how can we contact you and your team to get started? Well, you just call 863-285-3815. Danielle, they can even go to my website at statlerfinancial.com. There's a link right there to my calendar where they can schedule their 30-minute conference call with no problem at all easy to do, would love to sit down with them to walk through that process. It's important that we make sure we get this thing right. Again, that number is 863-877-1188. Do not hesitate to reach out to us now. Again, 863-877-1188. Philip, I'm going to throw some numbers here again, as I was talking earlier in the show about the Social Security Administration says that a retirement benefit of $1,000 is reduced by 25% to $750. So for taking your benefit for 48 months ahead of your 67th birthday, or the day that you reach your FRA. Now, if you wait even longer until you turn 70, that benefit continues to increase up to 8% to your benefits for every year that you decide to delay. So, Philip, break this down. What does this mean for many of us if we were in this scenario? So, Danielle, here's the deal. Choosing to begin receiving Social Security benefits at 62 instead of waiting until full retirement age, that's what that FRA stands for, will lead to a 30% reduction in your monthly benefit with smaller reductions as you get closer to that full retirement age. I looked at those numbers myself on my account, and that is astronomically uh, what that can do to you and your monthly benefit. So look, we need to sort through all these things. So look, we need to make sure that we pick the right time to take our Social Security. Now, unfortunately, not many financial advisors out there are willing to talk about this. To me, that 30% is significant. That is a significant amount of money that I wouldn't want to accidentally miss out on in taking the benefit at the wrong time. Now, I guarantee there's a lot of variables that, that you have to consider before you start taking your Social Security. And, and so that's one reason that is so important that you have a plan in place. And that's why I developed the core retirement design to help people design that retirement they always dreamed of. Look, we'll look at the options you have for claiming your Social Security as part of our income planning process through our core retirement design. We'll also talk about taxes because taxes can eat away at your retirement quicker than anything else that you might believe. And so there's so many parts to Social Security and Medicare 
that we have to make sure that we understand them and that we take advantage of them as much as possible. The best way is to give us a call at 863-877-1188 to schedule your core retirement analysis. It's simple, folks. It's a half-hour call with you and I together to determine if you are on the right path to the retirement you always dreamed of. It's a half-hour, easy to do. We'll make sure that you're doing the things you need to be doing. And if not, we'll let you know and see how we may be able to help you fill in those gaps. Give us a call at 863-877-1188. That's 863-877-1188. We're continuing the conversation about maximizing your retirement income. Now, if some of your income in retirement will be coming from your retirement savings, you could get a hit with the highest penalty in the tax code if you are not careful. What does that mean? We're going to explain that coming up right here on the Statler Financial Radio Show. It might ramp up or it could slow down, but inflation never goes away. Do you know how it could impact your retirement savings? Text VISIT to 863-877-1188. That's VISIT to 863-877-1188. It's nice when you get everything on your list in one place, isn't it? Philip Statler at Statler Financial Services agrees. That's why he offers comprehensive retirement planning all under one roof. You shouldn't have to go one place for information about tax planning another for estate planning, and another for retirement income planning. That's why Statler Financial Services was started. Philip wanted to build a company that could help families with all aspects of their retirement. Statler Financial is more than just convenient. They're knowledgeable and experienced. To set up a meeting with Philip Statler and his team to talk about your retirement plan, all of it, call 863-285-3815. That's 863-285-3815. Statler Financial Services, one stop for a wealth of retirement solutions. 863-285-3815. Advisory services offered through Statler Financial Services, Inc., a registered investment advisory firm in the state of Florida. Having that financial and health care power of attorney set up is huge. The power of attorney is going to take care of you while you're here alive, and that's why I think it's ultimately important that you get those things taken care of. Time to retire right. This is the Statler Financial Radio Show. Welcome back to the Statler Financial Radio Show. I'm your host, Danielle J. Martin, along with Philip Statler. He's the president and founder of Statler Financial Services. We're discussing different ways to maximize your retirement income. Now, the penalty for failing to withdraw the full required minimum distribution or missing a deadline is set at 25% of the unwithdrawn amount. Now, you do not want steep penalties and potentially higher taxes swiping away at your retirement savings, leaving you with a fraction of the money that you were counting on for retirement. Philip, this is why you're here to walk us through. How do we prepare for this? Well, you know, yeah, you said 25% penalty and, and that's huge. Not uh, It's discounted though to what it was though, because be, that all changed with a Secure Act 2.0. Mm-hmm. That penalty used to be 50% of the amount you did not withdraw. But that new law dropped it to 25%, which that's a good thing. Um, So let's just walk through some math here, right? So let's just say that for easy math, because this will nice round numbers, right? If you had to take $100,000 out for your required minimum distribution and you didn't take it all out, you only took out 50,000, the penalty would be $12,500, right? It'd be 25% of that $50,000 that you did not take out that you were supposed to take out. So if you make a mistake with your requirement distribution from your IRA or other retirement accounts, that 25% penalty is added on top of the income tax that you're going to have to pay on that distribution. So those things can start to add up. And you're right, Philip. You know, it was 50% and now it's 25. And so it sounds like it's a, it's working in our favor a little bit, but there are some other things we need to know. So what do pre-retirees need to know about taking required minimum distributions, also known as RMDs, from their retirement accounts? Well, you know, I would say this. They, they, 
they need to develop a way to access your retirement accounts and your money that is tax efficient. And that's one of our steps that we use to maximize your retirement income. So get this, in general, 401k distributions are subject to regular income tax, which effectively reduces how much you'll receive. You know, Ed Slot always says, look, you have a partner in your retirement account. It's Uncle Sam. And every time you take money out, he's got his hands out and he wants his share too. And so we want to make sure that we minimize his share as much as possible. So the second thing, you have to pay attention to what your taxable income is. And so, you know, because you could compare potentially avoid crossing some thresholds when it comes to the next higher tax bracket. The other issue can be your Medicare. You can be, if you're not careful, you can end up escalating how much you have to pay in Medicare premiums. We want to make sure that we're being tax savvy when it comes to our withdrawal strategies. And the withdrawal strategies can also help you avoid these costly penalties we're talking about for your required minimum distribution. So it all comes down to having a written retirement income plan in place, Danielle. Philip, with a a lot of these changes, we have to be mindful and aware of um, even penalties. So let's talk about the penalties for taking your RMD's required minimum distributions correctly, because what kind of impact can penalties have on our retirement? Well, we talk about how taxes automatically reduce what you have to spend in retirement, and penalties just exasperate that number even more. So now, you know, instead of the IRS getting his 20%, because that's what he takes out uh, for your distributions, if we miss one, then then we're going to have to pay 25% more on that amount we missed. And, And that's just devastating. I mean, hey, putting a plan in place is already tough enough. We don't want to make it any harder. So that's where I believe we need to have a written retirement plan and be working with a financial advisor that's going to sit down with you at least once a year to make sure you're on track to doing all those things you're supposed to do so you don't get penalized. That's right. And when we're talking about these changes, this is where we need some assistance, Philip. Remind us how we can contact you and your team because you have this core retirement design that could definitely benefit us. Absolutely, Danielle. We developed the core retirement design to help people design that retirement they always dreamed of. And one of the legs of that is our retirement income plan, where we'll help you plan your income in retirement to make sure that your money lasts as long as you do. Give us a call at 863-877-1188 to schedule your core retirement analysis. It's simple, folks. It's a half hour call with you and I together to determine if you are on the right path to the retirement you always dreamed of. It's a half hour, easy to do. We'll make sure that you're doing the things you need to be doing. And if not, we'll let you know and see how we may be able to help you fill in those gaps. Give us a call at 863-877-1188. That's 863-877-1188. 863-877-1188. Again, 863-877-1188. Do not hesitate to give us a call. We're talking right now about um, RMDs and we've been talking about Social Security throughout the show. So, Philip, some people who delay Social Security until age 70 and then have to start taking money from their retirement savings at age 73 could be pushed into a higher tax bracket. So this is what some analysts call the tax torpedo. I don't know if this seems like a good thing, Philip. So how can we dodge the tax torpedo? Well, that's a, that's a good question, Danielle. Now, before we get started, let's just, uh, we, we want to remind everyone that we do not really provide specific tax advice. We want to look at big, big picture items here when we're talking about taxes, because everyone's situation is so different, so unique that I wouldn't want to dive in and give somebody any kind of advice that might not be specific to them. So look, all of our clients and all our listeners out there, we encourage you to seek the guidance of qualified folks that know what they're talking about when it comes to to taxes and making sure that they're paying the least amount possible. But we do try to help folks structure their retirement income so that they're paying the least amount of taxes possible. And I know not everybody out there does that. That's huge because, as I said earlier, taxes can be very impactful 
on your retirement. And we don't want that to happen to anybody. Philip, you're right. And when it comes to taxes, it's it's an area that many retirees don't sometimes like to talk about, want to overlook, try to avoid. But, you know, the unfortunately, the thing is taxes may go up. So how can taxes really impact our retirement over time and how can we prepare for it? Well, Danielle, you know, one of the things is that we know already that tax rates are going to go up. In uh, what, uh, two years, right? 2026, yep. we start to go back to what the tax brackets used to be uh, during the Trump administration. And, and so we know we're going to get a bump then. But first, I got to tell you, they talk about raising taxes every day. And we want to make sure that you're prepared for any kind of tax increase that may be coming. We want to make sure that you're paying the least amount of taxes possible. And that's where having a strategic plan in place can help you through that process. Um, And there's a lot of strategies that we can talk about to help you pay some tax today at a lower rate than what taxes are going to be down the road. And and so I think that's part of it. You know, when we talk about our core retirement design, that second leg is tax planning, making sure that, that we're doing what we can to reduce our tax burden, not today, but for over your retirement lifetime, and your beneficiary's retirement lifetime. That's where the big savings comes in. Philip, that's right. When it comes to taxes, it's another reminder to remind retirees and pre-retirees, stay proactive. This is a way you can get in front of it. And having assistance like you by our side um, can help us not overlook anything. And when it comes to taxes, what do most people overlook when it comes to taxes in retirement? We think it's going to go away, but it's like (laughs) it's it's still going to be here. It it is. And I'm going to say probably the biggest overlook that folks make is that they think their social security is not going to be taxable. And so when we look at the money they take out of their IRA, it directly impacts how much of their IRA distributions are going to be taxable and how much of their social security will be taxable. And so that's where planning really comes into play, because if we take out too much, then we can easily push our social security benefits to the point that they get taxed at 85%, meaning 85% of the value we receive gets taxed. And so that can be huge. It can cause people all kinds of headaches and uh, and upset stomachs when they get their tax bill <laughs> at the end of the year because they thought they had paid in enough, but they didn't realize that that Social Security was going to be taxable because they didn't have anything withheld on that. And that causes problems. That's one of the things we want to make sure we take care of uh, before tax rates start to go up. Philip, you're right. And I and we keep talking and reiterating that taxes are going to go up. And I want to share this stat with you that says NerdWallet states that the U.S. federal tax rates will remain the same until 2025 as a result of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017. But the income thresholds that inform that the tax brackets are generally adjusted each year to reflect the rate of inflation. So at this point, it's not a matter of if, but when taxes will go up. And so, Philip, how? what's a, a strategy that we can put in place now? And what's the best ways that if we have more questions about this, we can go ahead and contact you and your team? You know, Daniel, you don't want to assume that you won't be impacted by the proposed tax increases because you're not a big corporation or you're not, quote, wealthy enough, Right. I bet just about everyone listening has a few areas where they can become a little bit more tax efficient with their retirement money. And so I want to help you understand the potential impact of taxes and and how you can can help prevent some of that. I want you to learn about ways to potentially reduce or possibly even eliminate taxes in retirement. And to help you create that income strategy so that your retirement income lasts as long as you need it to. And all of this is part of our core retirement design. Folks, you've saved. You've benefited. Now let's make sure we have the plan in place. If you've saved at least $250,000 or more, give us a call at 863-877-1188 to schedule your core retirement analysis. It's simple, folks. It's a half-hour call with you and I together to determine if you are on the right path to the retirement you always dreamed of. It's a half-hour. 
easy to do. We'll make sure that you're doing the things you need to be doing. And if not, we'll let you know and see how we may be able to help you fill in those gaps. Give us a call at 863-877-1188. That's 863 877 1188. You know, there's a short window of opportunity to take action to keep taxes from taking too much of a bite out of your savings. It could mean thousands of dollars back in your pocket over a lifetime. Again, that number again to contact Philip and his team is 863-877-1188. Again, 863-877-1188. Now, the number of Americans who are afraid that they'll never be able to retire appears to be at an all-time high, but with the right help, you can learn ways to make make what you've saved last as long as you need it. You're listening to the Statler Financial Radio Show. We'll be right back. Needing a second opinion on your retirement plan or to see if you were paying more than your fair share to Uncle Sam? Schedule your complimentary visit today. Text VISIT to 270-201-7080. That's visit to 270-201-7080. Do you actually read your financial statements or do they get tossed in a drawer and forgotten about? You could be making an expensive mistake by not taking the time to look at them. If you're paying high fees in your retirement portfolio, it could be costing you tens of thousands of dollars or more over your lifetime. Imagine the difference an extra $100,000 could make in your retirement. Statler Financial Services can help you uncover any hidden fees in your retirement accounts. Call today to schedule a time to talk about your situation. 863-285-3815. That's 863-285-3815. When you're close to retirement, every dollar matters. Would you like to know where your money is going? Find out what kind of fees you're really paying. Statler Financial Services can help. 863-285-3815. 863-285-3815. Advisory services offered through Statler Financial Services, Inc., a registered investment advisory firm in the state of Florida. Thanks for joining us today on the Statler Financial Radio Show. I'm your host, Danielle J. Martin, along with Philip Statler. He is the president and founder of Statler Financial Services. Now, we are continuing the conversation on different ways to maximize your retirement income. Now, Philip, the number of Americans who are afraid they'll never be able to retire appears to be at an all-time high. Why is that? Well, you you know, the folks... They're worried about being able to retire because they're not sure that they have enough or they're not sure they can really afford to retire. And what that really means is that probably they don't have a plan in place. And statistics tell us more likely than not, you you probably don't have what we call a retirement income plan for your retirement. Give you an example. I met with somebody the other day and, uh, He's wanting to, he thinks he's got to work to like 62 to retire. And we sat down and looked at his situation. And uh, Danielle, I, I, I looked at it and I said, look, you could retire at 60, 59 and a half. He, he got to be 59 and a half because it's all IRA money. He's got to be able to take the IRA money out. So, but, but I looked at his plan. I said, look, for what you need, you know, we just have to get you about three more, four more years. You'll be 60 and then you'll be able to retire. And he had no idea. He thought he didn't need to work to 67. I was able to get him to the point where, hey, look, he's going to pick up four years of retirement more that he can enjoy time with his wife, travel, and do those type of things. So, look, it's not always the issue of, well, I can't afford to retire. It's the issue we need to understand where we are and what it's going to take to be able to retire. And maybe you can retire now. You just don't realize it. Philip, you're right. I, I think that's another reminder that we need. We need that encouragement next to us. Um, and I think having that plan in place would be helpful because according to the new Axios poll, one in five Americans believe that they'll never retire. Is it surprising to you that for many people to be worried that they'll never be able to retire? They feel like they have to work the rest of their life. And that's tragic, right? That they think they have to work that long. But there are so many. I mean, I was in the store the other day and 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 ran into somebody that that was retired and has had to go back to work part time. Um, and so you feel for those folks, right? Because they they didn't 
follow a plan or they didn't even have a plan in place to make sure they could get through retirement. Uh, and so I look at retirement different than a lot of people do, mostly because of what I do, I guess. But you know, some people, they don't want to retire. I, mean, I had an uncle that uh, he loved what he did. He, he was an engineer and he loved it and, and he didn't want to retire. The only reason, Danielle, that he retired, I think he was probably 72 when he actually finally retired, was because my aunt got sick and, and he needed to be home to help her um, in, in that aspect of their lives. And so, but he loved what he did. And, and I kind of look at people and say, look, if you love what you do, then you're never really working, right? And so there's folks that they may not retire because they do like what they're doing. But that's not the majority of the folks out there, unfortunately. And so for those folks, we need to make sure that they have a plan in place that allows them to know ahead of time that that what they're doing is going to meet the goal that they set out there because everybody's got that goal. I want to retire. And so and so having that plan in place really helps make sure that you're on track to do what you want to do and retire when you want to retire, Danielle. That's right, Philip. I know many people have questions about this. And so it, it may seem silly, but I think it's important to even going back to having that plan. Like you mentioned, it's unfortunate to find out someone, you know, was retired and has to go back to work. So how can having a retirement income strategy help us feel more confident about our future? Well, it's like having a map, right? If you have a map and you're trying to go from here to Atlanta, Georgia, then then you know, okay, here's what the map says. And if I follow the map, I'm ultimately going to get to Atlanta, Georgia. Well, it's the same, right? It's the same when it comes to retirement planning. We need to have a plan in place that will get us to the ultimate goal. Now, I understand there may be roadblocks that come up or an accident that happens and so the road gets closed and we have to detour. It can happen in financial and retirement planning as well. But if you don't have a plan with some contingencies built into it, then what do you do? You really have a tough situation. And so that's where having that retirement income strategy helps people have a plan in place that allows them to do what they want to do and know that, hey, I'm going to get from here to there and I'm okay. And if I have to detour, I know how to detour and I know what that means to me and what I have to do. It comes down though, I will tell you this, you have to have a realistic plan. Mm -hmm. We don't want to overestimate our income and underestimate our expenses because I see that all the time. I want and people need to have a realistic budget in place so that the plan can be you know, good for the rest of their lives. Folks, listen, this is exactly why I developed the core retirement design. To get started, give us a call today, 863-877-1188. That's 863-877-1188. Give us a call today. And Philip, as we're talking about looking to see if someone is a right fit for you, when is it a good time to get a second opinion, especially if you've already worked with someone on your finances for retirement? I know women may have um, a discomfort trying to switch financial um, professionals, but when would be a good time? Well, again, I, I think that it depends on where you are in the process. If you're already retired, definitely makes sense to get a second opinion on your current circumstances to make sure that you are on the right path uh, to make sure you don't outlive your income. Second, if you're not retired yet and you are getting anywhere from zero to five years close to retirement, that's a great time. Five years is a good time to sit down and look to see if you're on the right path to the retirement you always dreamed of. Because at that point, if the market takes a, a crash and you've got your 401k all invested in the stock market, it could be another 2008. And what happened? A lot of people had to put off their retirement another three to five years because they had to wait for their 401k to get back to where it was so they could retire. And I don't want that to happen to anybody. I, 
Yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a huge penalty there. And so um, as we are coming to a close here, I also wanted to share this interesting stat that nearly 70 percent of Americans, they're missing a written financial plan, Philip. So it seems like majority of us don't have a written retirement plan, um, which means people without a plan tend to feel less confident about their future. Philip, how can we get some confidence going as we're entering or in retirement? What process or strategy do you have for us? You, you know, Danielle, a lot of folks out there are worried that you have they haven't saved enough or that they won't even be able to retire. And I know that most of you out there don't have a written financial plan. I mean, that's the statistic that Danielle just gave us, that 70% of the folks don't have any kind of plan, much less a written retirement income plan. Folks, it's having it written that gives us the map to follow and to come back and check in year after year to make sure that we're still on the path that we need to be on. We're still getting to where we need to go. And so, again, that's why I created the core retirement design. To help people design that retirement they always dreamed of. So listen, folks, we need to make sure that you have a written retirement income plan. That's the third leg of our core retirement design. First, we want to look at risk in your whole portfolio to make sure the amount of risk you have is the amount of risk you should have in your portfolio. Let me just give you this stat. So what I have found over my years of doing this is that about 60% of the folks out there have too much risk in their portfolio heading into retirement. There's about 20 to 30% of the folks out there, they don't have enough risk in their portfolio. They should have more risk because they've got it all sitting in CDs or all sitting in the bank. They need more risk to help keep up with inflation. The third group, about 10, 20% maybe, have it dialed in perfect. They've got the right amount of risk for where they are in life's process. The second thing we need to look at is taxes. We want to make sure that folks pay the least amount of taxes possible over their lifetime. And so we want to take advantage of the tax brackets we have with our IRAs and our 401ks. And lastly, like I said, is having that written retirement income plan in place. We want to make sure that you have the map to follow to make sure you don't outlive your money. The best way is to give us a call at 863-877-1188 to schedule your core retirement analysis. It's simple, folks. It's a half-hour call with you and I together to determine if you are on the right path to the retirement you always dreamed of. It's a half-hour, easy to do. We'll make sure that you're doing the things you need to be doing. And if not, we'll let you know and see how we may be able to help you fill in those gaps. Give us a call at 863-877-1188. That's 863-877-1188. Take advantage of this call today. Again, there's no cost or obligation. All you have to do is give us a call right here at 863-877-1188. Philip and his team has a plan for you to make sure that you do not run out of money. Now, you may have even boosted your retirement savings over time by just giving us a simple call right here at 863-877-1188. Again, that number is 863-877-1188. You're listening to the Statler Financial Radio Show. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Information provided during the Statler Financial Radio Show is for illustrative purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with a qualified investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing company. Individuals should thoroughly review the contract for specific details of the product features and costs. Income payments and withdrawals from deferred annuities are generally taxable as ordinary income in the year they are taken. All investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. No strategy is guaranteed to be successful. This radio show is a paid placement.